guys, it's Ashlyn and welcome back to this vlog. So today is the start of a little series because I am being admitted into the hospital. So with that being said, my lungs need to feel at home and that means I'm going to have to get some IV antibiotics and do something called IVIG and I'll explain all about that a little bit later once I know more but right now I just got blood work done and now I'm going to go and check in and do a bronch which is a procedure where they go up my nose and they get a biopsy of my lungs and they just look at my lungs so yeah they like knock me out and everything so I just want to get this over with and just wake up and then after that they're going to admit me into the hospital so at this point I can't function I can't do anything else I'm just like ready to get this rolling and to like you know go in there and kick butt the good thing is is I feel fine I feel normal so I'm literally going to be like in jail I'm gonna have so much energy in the hospital but I'm going to vlog it all and yeah I'm really nervous I haven't had a bronc done in three years like since my transplant so I hopefully they can just get everything under control I am I'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm scared to death but I have my mom and my boyfriend here with me and I'm just dying to see like the COVID like protocol if they can be with me in the hospital and if they can go back like when I'm getting ready for the bronc and all that fun stuff so I'm going to vlog along the way. I hope you continue to watch my vlogs and each day in the hospital because I'm going to try to vlog a lot because I have nothing else to do. So, so with that being said, guys, I appreciate all your prayers and thoughts. And yeah, let's go do this. Okay, guys. So we are back here in the pre-surgical room. I got my fancy yellow gown on. As you can see, I have my N95 on. And we're just chilling so this is the little room I'm in little room tour for you guys and on the other side it's literally just a curtain between like me and the nurses so they can probably hear me talking right now but yeah I'm just waiting nobody else can come back here with me you know I thought maybe my mom or my boyfriend could but nobody is allowed back here because it is pre-surgical and after like procedures I'll come back to this room okay guys so little update I got an IV ta -da! and honestly it's in a really weird spot I don't know why she put it there because it's like on the side of my like hand and that's where it like bends so yeah a lot of waiting is going on now and I have my phone with me and that's like the literally the only way I can communicate it's two o'clock now and my bronc was supposed to be scheduled around like 2.30 so it should be like any moment that I get like to go back there and then I'll get some um, sleepy medicine and they'll knock me out. I don't think they're going to knock me out like completely but like they will somewhere I'm like conscious. It's like such a weird feeling. I don't even know how to explain it. But, yeah, lots of waiting going on and I wish somebody could come back here with me but I'm just texting my family and everything and updating them and honestly they can like watch this video and see what I do back here because they have no idea so yeah bye okay guys so as you can guess I am still back here waiting I signed like consent forms saying they can do the surgery but I am bored to death back here I've already watched all the TikToks I could watch all the YouTube videos and I'm trying to like save battery on my phone so yeah honestly it's like I'm tired back here too but like I can't sleep and I have my like stuff right here but they'll probably take it away from me I like snuck my camera in here so I could vlog but I'm not even supposed to have that back here and usually I like keep my phone with me and I usually like I don't know I don't know what I'm doing guys I'm like losing my mind this is my little room I am pretty comfy hello guys so I'm out of the Bronx my throat is like my throat is like numb so that's why I sound like this my makeup's all like messed up <laughs> can't even see there you go crazy so anyway I think the bronc went good he really didn't knock me out like I thought he would like I was pretty like conscious like the whole time but it wasn't that bad so I got all these 
thing is hooked up to me. So, I got all these things hooked to me now. Now we're just chilling. I am starving because it's like, it is, it is currently 2.36. So, I am starving. And they're just waiting on a bed. And then I'll be admitted into the hospital. But they said that two people are being discharged right now. And they have to clean the rooms really good. And then I'll be put in a room. So hopefully I don't have to wait here too long. Because I'm by myself. And I just want to see my boyfriend and my mom. So yeah, this really sucks doing everything alone. Like I'm so lonely. But yeah. But I feel good. I'm pretty sleepy. If you cannot tell. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, I am still waiting. But I just saw the doctor and he came in and he said everything went well and that I did really good. Like, you know, being conscious and like coughing when I was supposed to. But yeah, he said my lungs look really good. So, hopefully, like the biopsy comes back good. And he said, even if it is rejection, uh, we caught it really, really, really early, which is. So good so yeah I'm feeling pretty hopeful um, still have to go in the hospital and get some meds I've done IVIG before but um, I know it's like hardcore medications so we'll see how that goes <laughs> okay guys so I was so mad earlier because they took my stuff and I usually like hide my phone like in my pants or something so I have my phone like right when I wake up but they caught me and my mom like asked for my bag or told them that they were sh I don't even know but somehow it did not get to keep my phone so that was really a bummer but I finally got my phone back now so I'm going to FaceTime my boyfriend because he's actually downstairs. He's probably been waiting in a car for like ever. He is going to spend the night with me tonight in the hospital. So it's pretty sweet of him. I'm kind of excited just to have him by my side. I was. That's loud. But yeah. I'm so excited just like to hug him. <sighs> it's pretty lonely in here. Oh. I'm bored. Now we're out of here. Okay guys, so it is 30 minutes later. I am still hungry, but I am so hot in this gown. Like, I have my pants rolled up, but I am, like, dying of heat. I don't know if it's because of all these things and, like, I've just been nervous, but I am so hot in here. I have not had one of these on in three years, so I just, like, want to get in my own clothes, my own PJs. I want to be, like, settled in the hospital room so I can see my boyfriend and get into some, like, regular clothes. I should be getting a room pretty soon. I think another one just got, like, a room before me. So, yeah, gang, gang. <sighs> I want a room, but, yeah just waiting and honestly I don't know how I'm going to edit this video because I don't know if I should have like one long video or kind of like break it up I plan to like vlog each day just my hospital like the room tour and stuff like that but yeah that's the plan maybe I can get some editing done while I am in the hospital so we shall see and I'm also thinking about what I want to eat because I'm going to be so hungry. I already am so hungry, but yeah, it's 3 o'clock and I haven't ate since like last night. So yeah, I'm starving. I'm thinking about either getting like Taco Bell because, you know, that's my fave place or something else. So who knows? Hopefully I get like the numbness goes away in my throat. Because when they go in, they, like, spray stuff. That's, like, why I think my makeup still smear. Like, they spray stuff in my, like, throat and my lungs and my nose. And then they, like, put it down there. I, like, I was awake for all of it. So, it was just, re it's a really weird feeling. And then it, like, literally, they, when they spray it, it, like, makes you cough. And, like, I'm awake during all of it. But it's, it's weird. Like I said, my doctor said I did good at it. So, 
who knows I guess I'm a pro but yeah just waiting to be admitted and my battery is flashing red so that's not good so we may have to just end the vlog right here but who knows I don't I don't know it's currently 4.42. An hour has passed and I still have no room. I'm so bored and I'm starving. And literally, I don't know what's taking this long. So I hope they give me a room soon. Okay guys, so it is now 5 o'clock. And I still don't have a room or anything. I'm just really getting frustrated, honestly. I've been sitting here for like four hours. I haven't used the bathroom. I haven't ate. So, just fun stuff. So, I'm just waiting. <sighs> I'm just going to have fajitas tonight. I just want to get in my room. Um, another doctor came in and just kind of explained more stuff to me. Okay, guys, it is now around 6.40. This is crazy. I've been in this room for literally, like, since 11 o'clock is when I checked in. And it is that late. And, like, I want to get out of here. You can imagine how, like, starving I am. They tried to order me food down here to the surgery room, but they wouldn't even deliver down here because it's so, like, you know regulated I guess so I am starving I finally did use the bathroom I had to like ask a nurse and I'm just losing it I'm just so frustrated and hungry and hangry